in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills. There lived a talented sculptor named Ansel. Ansel was known far and wide for his incredible ability to shape lifeless stone into mesmerizing works of art. His sculpture seemed to capture the very essence of the world around him, leaving those who gazed upon them in awe. One day, a young aspiring sculptor named Elio arrived in the village, drawn by the tales of Ansel's creations, eager to learn from the master. Elio approached Ansel and humbly asked if he could become his apprentice. Ansel, seeing potential in the young man, agreed to take him under his wing. Elio's apprenticeship began with excitement and enthusiasm. But he soon realized that sculpting was no easy task. Days turned into weeks. And weeks into months. As Elio struggled to carve even the simplest forms out of stone. Every attempt seemed to end in frustration. With his hands covered in cuts and calluses. He grew disheartened. Questioning whether he was cut out for the art he so admired. Ansel observed Elio's struggles and, rather than offering pity, decided to teach him a valuable lesson. He took Elio to a distant quarry, a place where the most exquisite marble could be found. There, Ansel handed Elio a chisel and a hammer and said, Elio, my young apprentice, I want you to carve a sculpture out of this marble. But remember, the most beautiful art often requires the greatest effort. Elio hesitated but accepted the challenge. He studied the raw block of marble before him, envisioning the masterpiece he wished to create. And so, he began to chip away at the stone with determination, driven by the memory of his earlier failures. Days turned into weeks, and Elio's hands grew so and blistered. He encountered numerous setbacks as pieces of marble crumbled unexpectedly, ruining hours of painstaking work. Doubt gnawed at him, and he questioned his decision to take on such a daunting task. But each time he felt ready to give up, he remembered Ansel's words, The most beautiful art often requires the greatest effort. Elio's perseverance began to pay off. He learned to listen to the stone to feel its natural contours and hidden strengths. He adjusted his approach, using each setback as a lesson to refine his technique. Slowly but surely, the raw block of marble started to transform under his skilled hands. Months passed, and Elio's masterpiece began to take shape. The once rough stone had metamorphosed into a stunning sculpture, a testament to Elio's unwavering dedication. Villagers and fellow artisans marveled at the transformation, unable to believe that the magnificent work had emerged from the same raw material they had seen. Before, word of Elio's incredible sculpture reached Ansel, who returned to the quarry to see the finished piece. He gazed upon the masterpiece with a knowing smile and said, Elio, you have learned a lesson that no amount of instruction could teach. Through your pain and struggle, you have gained not only skill but also an understanding of the true essence of art. Remember this, no pain, no gain, your journey has just begun. Elio's eyes shimmered with gratitude as he looked at the sculpture that stood before him. It wasn't just a work of art. It was a symbol of his resilience, determination, and growth. He understood now that the challenges he had faced were not obstacles to his progress, but rather stepping stones on the path to mastery. From that day forward, Elio continued to sculpt with passion and purpose. He embraced the principle that through dedication and perseverance, even the most daunting challenges could be transformed into beautiful achievements. And as he carved each piece, he carried with him the valuable lesson he had learned. That true art, like life itself, is a journey that requires effort, sacrifice, and the unwavering belief that no pain, no gain,